Today we kick off our 18th season here on Quiz Central with a match between Davison and Traverse City Central coming up right after this. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kulhalvi Event Center. Here is your first question on Quiz Central. C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis is correct. Charlotte's Web. Correct. Nylon. Correct. Our season 17 grand champions are the students from Ross Common High School. Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Ozanik and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the very first episode of our 18th season of Quiz Central here on WCMU. We are once again thrilled to be joined by some of the brightest minds from high schools across Michigan. Each episode, we will be joined virtually by students from two different schools, competitors being selected based on school size. Our two competing teams will be independently challenged with an identical set of questions. The school that answers the most questions correctly in the time allotted advances to the next round. And at the end of the 18th season, four Quiz Central seniors will receive a book scholarship provided by the CMU Bookstore. This week, the Red Division will kick off the first round of our tournament with Davison taking on Traverse City Central. So without further ado, let's get today's match underway. Our first round is the Maroon and Gold Rush. Our teams will have just two minutes to answer as many questions as they can. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. There is no deduction for incorrect answers. Students will be able to consult with their teammates on each question, but the final answers will be coming from the team's captains. Davison, you're up first. So here comes the starter question in today's Maroon and Gold Rush. What man was the subject of a massive seated sculpture by Daniel Chester French that is surrounded by white columns in a Washington, D.C. memorial? Abe Lincoln. Correct. In 1807, tensions between the U.S. and Britain increased when what American frigate was attacked and boarded by the HMS Leopard near Virginia? USS Ulysses. That is incorrect. Next question. What city where a British diplomat was kidnapped by the FLQ in the October crisis is home to McGill University and is Quebec's most populous city? Montreal. Montreal. Correct. In May 2022, Shot Sage Blue Marilyn, a silkscreen painting by what American artist, set a new record when it was sold for $195 million? Pass. Pass. Next question. What poem, whose elderly narrator vows not to yield, was written by Alfred Lord Tennyson and has a Latin title referring to the hero of the Odyssey? Ulysses. Ulysses. This is Ulysses. Ulysses. Ulysses is correct. What Netflix show set in the 1980s starred Alison Brie and Betty Gilpin as members of the title league for women wrestlers? Pass. Pass. On to the next question. <laughs> what type of animal with impenetrable skin was strangled to death by Heracles in Nemea and was placed in the night sky as the constellation yeah. Leo? Huh? Anemian. Anemian. Say it, sorry again. Anemian lion. Lion is correct. What politician became Speaker of the it, House yeah, after his yeah, yeah. contract with America <laughs> helped Republicans win control? Oh, sorry, the bell's going to signify the end of the round. Davison has a strong start today with four correct answers and 40 points. Now it's Traverse City Central's turn in the maroon and gold rush. Let's put two minutes back on the clock. What man was the subject of a massive seated sculpture by Daniel Chester French that is surrounded by white columns in a Washington, D.C. memorial? Lincoln. Lincoln's correct. In 1807, tensions between the U.S. and Britain increased when what American frigate was attacked and boarded by the HMS Leopard near Virginia? Pass. Pass. Next question. What city where a British diplomat was kidnapped by the FLQ in the October crisis is home to McGill University and is Quebec's most populous city? Montreal. Correct. 
In May 2022, Shot Sage Blue Marilyn, a silkscreen painting by what American artist, set a new record when it was sold for $195 million? Pass, next question. What poem, whose elderly narrator vows not to yield, was written by Alfred Lord Tennyson and has a Latin title referring to the hero of the Odyssey? Uh, Odysseus. I'm sorry, cannot accept Odysseus. What Netflix show set in the 1980s starred Alison Brie and Betty Gilpin as members of the title league for women wrestlers? Glow. Glow is correct. What type of animal with impenetrable skin was strangled to death by Heracles in Nemea and was placed in the night sky as the constellation Leo? Oh, a lion. Lion. Lion is correct. What politician became Speaker of the House after his contract with America helped Republicans win control of Congress in the 1994 midterm elections? Gingrich. 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 Gingrich is correct. Oh, we're not going to be able to get to the next question. A close game after the maroon and gold rush with Davison 40, Traverse City Central 50. And here are the answers to the missed questions in that round. The American frigate that was boarded by the HMS Leopard was the USS Chesapeake. And the artist of the record-setting Shot Sage Blue Maryland was Andy Warhol. Only one round in the book so far, but it's already looking like we are in store for a tight game. But right now, we're going to take a pause and take this opportunity to meet each of our players from both of today's schools. We're going to start with the students from Davison High School. Hi, my name is Katherine House, and I am the varsity quiz bowl captain. Hi, I'm Katie O'Connor, and I'm on the varsity basketball and soccer team. Oh, I'm Maya Rogers. I'm in student council and on the varsity tennis team. I'm Andrew Shorty and I play trumpet in the school's wind ensemble. Thank you, Davison. Now the team from Traverse City Central, take it away. Uh, I'm Jackson and I'm a junior. I also do cross country and track. I'm Henry, um, I'm a freshman and I also do band. Yeah, hi, I'm Evan, I'm a junior and I'm in uh, robotics and band. Hi, I'm Andrew and I'm, uh, I also do robotics. I'm, I'm a junior. Now that we've had a chance to meet everyone, let's head into the next round of competition, the Perfect 10. In the Perfect 10 round, our teams will be given a category and they'll have 60 seconds to answer as many questions correctly as they can. And our first Perfect 10 category of season 18 is ABC. Give these words that contain the letters A, B, and C in any order. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock as we start with the team from Davison in today's Perfect 10. A color that absorbs all light. Black. Black. Correct. Hasbro game involving making words with tiles. Scrabble. Correct. Seafood used in a cake popular in Maryland. Crab. Correct. Counting, Crab. De counting device with columns of beads. Abacus. Correct. <laughs> Having a pH greater than seven. Basic. Yeah. Basic. Basic. Basic is correct. A signal fire or lighthouse? Beacon. Beacon. Correct. <laughs> the B in a BA degree stands for this. Bachelor's. Bachelors. Correct. Handheld instrument composed of two telescopes. Binoculars. Uh, binoculars. Correct. A type of Italian vinegar made from grape must. Balsamic. Balsamic. Oh, I just heard balsamic, and I think he got it in right there before the bell. Davison puts the pedal to the metal in the perfect 10 round with nine straight correct answers, bringing their score up to 130 points. Let's see if Traverse City Central has the same good fortune in the perfect 10. Let's put 60 seconds back on the clock. Color that absorbs all light. Black. Correct. Hasbro game involving making words with tiles. Scrabble. Correct. Seafood used in a cake popular in Maryland. Crab. Crab. Correct. Counting device with columns of beads. Abacus. Correct. Having a pH greater than seven. Basic. Basic is correct. A signal fire or lighthouse.
Pass. Pass. Next question. The B in a BA degree stands for this. Uh, bachelor. Correct. Handheld mm -hmm. instrument composed of two telescopes. Binoculars. Correct. A type of Italian vinegar made from grape must. Oh, sorry, but we're not going to be able to get an answer to that one as the time for the round is up. Traverse City Central stays in the fight, adding 70 points to their score in the perfect 10. With two rounds finished, our score is Davison 130, Traverse City Central 120. Now, there's still many questions to be asked and many points to be attained as we enter our third round and the penultimate round of the day, the home stretch round. In the home stretch, I'll be asking each team a series of random questions. Correct answers are still worth 10 points apiece, and final answers will be coming from our team's captains. We're going to start with Davison in the home stretch round. Davison, here comes your first question. What element whose trioxide is added to Pyrex and other glassware to increase their thermal resistance is a metalloid with atomic symbol B? Yes. Boron. Boron's correct. W.W. Jacobs wrote what 1902 short story whose cursed title object fulfills the wishes of Mr. and Mrs. White in an ironic and horrifying manner? No. Monkeys. Say again, Davison? Monkeys paw. Correct. What novel in which Basil Hallward creates an object that becomes increasingly loathsome in response to a man's depression? Picture depra of Dorian Gray. Picture of Dorian Gray. Correct. What adjective describes collisions in which momentum is conserved but kinetic energy is not conserved? Pass. Pass. Next question. What monarch, who was named the successor of Charles VI in the Pragmatic Sanction, opposed Frederick II in the War of Austrian Succession? Charles VII. That is incorrect. On to the next question. What surname is shared by ventriloquist Edgar Bergen's dummy Charlie and the American author of the novel McCarthy. Nother? McCarthy is correct. What mountain range has its eastern terminus at the Cap de Acruz in the home of the Basque people and separates France from the Iberian Peninsula? The French Alps. The French Alps. Incorrect. Next question. What jazz singer discussed her 1939 recording of the anti-lynching song Strange Fruit in an autobiography titled after her album Lady Sings the Blues? Billie Holiday. Billie Holiday. Correct. What long poem, which is dedicated to Carl Solomon, describes the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness and is by Allen Ginsberg? The Lost Generation. The Lost Generation. Incorrect. Next question. In 1943, U.S. forces killed what Japanese admiral who planned and oversaw the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941? Pass. Pass. On to the next question. What man whose namesake time independent equation sets H psi equal to E psi proposed a thought experiment about a box with an alive and dead cat? Schrodinger. Schrodinger. That is correct. In what class of reactions that includes disproportionation reactions are electrons transferred from one species to another? Pass. Pass. Next question. In July 2022, what number went into effect nationwide as a three-digit toll-free shortcut to mental health hotlines? Oh, that bell's going to signify the end of the round. Davison performs well in the home stretch and adds 70 points to their score, bringing their total up to 190. We now turn to Traverse City Central to see how they'll handle the home stretch round. TCC, here comes your first question. What element whose trioxide is added to Pyrex and other glassware to increase their thermal resistance is a metalloid with the atomic symbol B? Boron. Correct. W.W. Jacobs wrote what 1902 short story whose cursed title object fulfills the wishes of Mr. and Mrs. White in an ironic and horrifying manner? Uh, 
uh, I don't know. Pass. Pass. Next question. What novel in which Basil Hallward creates an object that becomes increasingly loathsome in response to a man's depravity was written by Oscar Wilde? Pass. Pass. Next question. What adjective describes collisions in which momentum is conserved, but kinetic energy is not conserved? Mm. Pass. Pass. Next question. What monarch, who was named the successor of Charles VI in the Pragmatic Sanction, opposed Frederick II in the War of the Austrian Secession? Catherine. That is incorrect. Next question. What surname is shared by ventriloquist Edgar Bergen's dummy Charlie and the American author of the novel No Country for Old Men? Pass. Pass. Next question. What mountain range has its eastern terminus at the Cap de Creus is the home of the Basque people and separates France from the Iberian Peninsula? Pyrenees. Pyrenees is correct. What jazz singer discussed her 1939 recording of the anti-lynching song Strange Fruit in an autobiography titled after her album Lady Sings the Blues? Pass. Pass. Next question. What long poem, which is dedicated to Carl Solomon, describes the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness and is by Allen Ginsberg? Pass. Pass. Next question. In 1943, U.S. forces killed what Japanese admiral who planned and oversaw the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941? Uh, Yamato. Uh, sorry, not going to be able to accept that. On the next question. What man whose namesake time independent equation sets H psi equal to E psi proposed a thought experiment about a box with an alive and dead cat? Uh, Schrodinger. Correct. In what class of reactions that includes disproportionation reactions are electrons transferred from one species to another? Uh, redox. Correct. In July 2022, what number went into effect nationwide as a three-digit toll-free shortcut to mental health hotlines as a complement to 911? No, that's a mistake. Um, 922? Just, just get oh, sorry, uh, the time, we're not going to be able to get an answer on that one. Traverse City Central finishes up their home stretch with four correct answers and 40 points. And before we give you an update on the score, let's go ahead and take a look at the questions that were missed during the home stretch. The adjective to describe collisions in momentum we were looking for was inelastic collision. The monarch who succeeded Charles VI was Maria Theresa. The long poem dedicated to Carl Solomon by Allen Ginsberg was Howell. And the Japanese admiral who planned the attack on Pearl Harbor was Isoroku Yamamoto. Three rounds in the books already, and our score is now Davison 190, Traverse City Central 160. As we head into the final round of the day, the final countdown. Our teams will now just have two minutes to answer as many questions as they can, with correct answers still being worth 10 points apiece. Davison, we start with you in the final countdown. Let's put two minutes on the clock, and here comes your first question. What president's name was removed from the former National Expansion Memorial in St. Louis when it became Gateway Arch National Park in 2018? Lincoln. That is incorrect. Next question. What language was used to write a novel about a parallel Earth with two moons titled 1Q84, as well as Norwegian Wood, two books by Haruki Murakami? Pass. Pass. Next question. What operation takes two input vectors and produces a new vector perpendicular to the inputs whose direction can be found with the right-hand rule? No. Division. Division. Oh. Final answer, Davison? Division. Division is incorrect. On to the next question. 
What man who promoted philanthropy in his 1889 essay, The Gospel of Wealth, was a Scottish-American businessman who founded a namesake steel company? Carnegie. Carnegie. Correct. What <laughs> achievement accomplished in June 2022 by singer Jennifer Hudson takes its name from the four competitive awards that must be won to do so? Pass. Pass. On to the next question. Sankore Madrasa was a center of learning in what city that was a major trading hub of the Mali Empire? Istanbul. Istanbul. Istanbul is incorrect. Next question. What university, which is home to the Ashmolean Museum and the Bodleian Library, publishes an English dictionary and has a rivalry with Cambridge? Webster. Webster. Webster is incorrect. On to the next question. What country's 2022 election to replace President Ivan Duque was won by one time at... Oh, sorry, the bell is going to finish there. We're not going to be able to get to the last question. A tough final countdown for Davison with only one correct answer. Now, Traverse City Central, it's your turn to enter the final countdown. Here comes the first question. What president's name was removed from the former National Expansion Memorial in St. Louis when it became Gateway Arch National Park in 2018? Uh, Jefferson. Correct. What language was used to write a novel about a parallel Earth with two moons titled 1Q84, as well as Norwegian Wood, two books by Haruki Murakami? Japanese. Correct. What operation takes two input vectors and produces a new vector perp perpendicular to the inputs whose direction can be found with the right-hand rule? Pass. Next question. What man who promoted philanthropy in his 1889 essay, The Gospel of Wealth, was a Scottish-American businessman who founded a namesake steel company? Carnegie. Correct. What achievement accomplished in June 2022 by singer Jennifer Hudson takes its name from the four competitive awards that must be won to do so? EGOT. EGOT's correct. Sakore Madrasa was a center of learning in what city that was a major trading hub, a trading hub of the Mali Empire? Uh, Timbuktu. Correct. What university, which is home to the Ashmolean Museum and the Bodleian Library, publishes an English dictionary and has a rivalry with Cambridge? Oxford. Oxford's correct. What country's 2022 election to replace President Ivan Duque was won by one-time M-19 guerrilla fighter Gustavo Petro, a former leftist mayor of Bogota? Colombia. Colombia is correct. What author wrote about Mr. Hooper, a clergyman who refuses to let his face be seen by the... Oh, sorry, that bell is uh, going to signify the end of the round, so we're not going to be able to get all the way through that last question. Traverse City Central comes back big in the final countdown, racking up seven correct answers for 70 points. And before we get to our final score, let's take a look at the questions we missed in that round. The operation, including two input vectors we were looking for, was cross product. A big final countdown for Traverse City Central as they sent them eking past Davison, giving us a final score of Traverse City Central 230, Davison 200. Congratulations, Traverse City Central, and we want to thank the team from Davison for joining us for a great Season 18 Quiz Central opener. Seniors, good luck to all of you in the future, and underclassmen, we hope to see you next season right here on Quiz Central. And we invite all of you to join us again on the next installment of Quiz Central as two more Michigan schools compete to be our Season 18 Grand champions. And as a reminder, all episodes of Quiz Central are archived online at WCMU.org. From the crew here at WCMU Public TV, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all right back here for the next episode of Quiz Central. Good night. Support for Quiz Central is provided by the CMU Bookstore. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, maroon and gold memories, and an official outfitter of Adidas apparel at the Central Michigan University owned and operated CMU Bookstore. Online shopping seven days a week at cmubookstore.com, on campus at the University Center, and game day locations at Kelly Short Stadium and the John G. Kuhalvi Event Center.